Hey, what's happening, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone here. Uh, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to chat just a little bit about follow-up and what I call really fatal follow-up flaws. And they're very common and they're very avoidable. So let's talk about those so that you don't make these flaws because when I say fatal flaws, that, that, that means it leads to a prospecting fatality, right? In other words, you don't recruit the person, they go join somebody else, they go join another team, uh, whatever. So it, it, it leads to, you know, nothing. So that's what I'm talking about when we talk about fatal follow-up flaws. So now, first of all, let me say this, just because you follow up doesn't guarantee you the business. Just because you get back to a person doesn't mean that you're guaranteed the business. But I will say this, I've said it for all of my career, I'll continue to say it because it's absolute factual. The, and, 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 it, and, and we've all heard, those of us that have been around the business for any period of time, this phrase, the fortune is in the follow-up. I, I don't know who made up that phrase, but it's true. And we don't just throw out information to somebody. If we're gonna, be, if we're gonna build a business, if we're gonna build a real business, you don't like prospect somebody, get them the information, and then you're just like sitting around waiting for them to get back to you and sign up. Granted, some of those people might, but it really, uh, if I look at ev all the people that I've recruited over my career, it's like get them, get them the information, getting back to them, getting their questions answered, uh, getting them additional information, utilizing third-party validation, making sure that they have all the information that they need so they can make their own relaxed and informed decision. And e again, even when you do things uh, and you're attempting to do things perfectly or you really, you're really on your follow-up game, again, it doesn't guarantee that that person is going to join your business. That's just the truth. But what you can do is you can not make these big mistakes that people make, and, th and they're very, very common. Like a common mistake is, or a common fatal flaw, is they will reach out to somebody uh, and then they just don't get back to them. They just don't get back to them. And that's like ridiculous because the person that you prospected is expecting you to get back to them. You, you ask them, are you open to taking a look at this business? Or, hey, I launched this business. I'd love to show you what I'm up to. Or do you keep your options open at all in terms of making money outside of what you're currently doing? They're like, yeah, cool. You get them the information and then you never get back to them. Well, of course, they're, you're unlikely to have that person join you. And the person that you prospected that was anticipating that you would get back to them is thinking, well, I thought this was an important business to them, but apparently it must not be because they haven't even gotten back to me. So therefore, even if it's like later they're getting back to me, I'm probably not going to join that guy because he like totally dropped the ball. He was all excited, got the information to me that day. And then two weeks later, he finally gets back to me. That's a fatal flaw. Okay. So not getting back to people. That's one. I would say not getting back to people in a timely manner. That's two. Right, so if 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 you're going to follow up with somebody, like if I was gonna, if I was talking to him, like hey John, I've got this this business that I just launched. I've been looking for something for a long time. I finally found it. I'm super excited. I'm all in. I'd love to work with you. You and I are great friends. I think this would be a cool way for us to make some money. If I send this video to you, when can you spend 15 minutes today and take a look at it? And they're like, I can do it right now. Okay, cool. Not scheduling the follow up and not do or, or waiting like two days or three days. There's no timeline. Like you're supposed to wait 24 hours, 48, 72 hours you get back to the person as soon as possible. The perfect time to get back to a person is the moment, the second that they've gotten done looking at, reviewing, whatever it is that you might have gotten them in front of. That's the perfect time. So waiting for longer than that, sometimes it's not ideal. We can't get back to them right after, but the, the ideal time and the reason is, is they just got done listening or reviewing or watching that information. So it just makes sense, it's fresh in their mind, they just watch it, they're excited about it, versus three days later, they got yelled at at work, they got in a fight with their spouse, you know, they forgot about it, they got the opinion of somebody else, hey, I'm taking a look at this thing, what do you think, oh, that's one of those things. So, so there's a lot of things that can happen if we wait. So not getting back to people, number one, not getting back to people in a timely manner, number two, um, sometimes, uh, you know, and I'll give you, I'll, I'll throw out another scenario. Somebody says no to you. And you're like, okay, well, no, you take no as like, look, when it comes to business, timing is everything. And so, first of all, I personally don't prospect anybody or go after business unless that's somebody I really want. So I won't even attempt to enroll you or pique your interest in your life unless you're somebody I would truly want to work with in my business. 
And so if I've approached you, that means I see something in you that, would ide- that, that I identify as, as certain qualities that I would like to have in a person in my business, so I'm gonna prospect that person. If somebody's super br- grumpy or br- you know, skeptical or negative or nasty, or they're just like always, you know, glasses three quarters empty, I'm not gonna probably even attempt to prospect that person. So if you said, after you looked at the information, you know, ch- checked it out, and you're like, hey, I don't, this, you know, I'm, this, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not into this, that's cool. But then to not, to, to not maintain some level of contact over a period of time is another fatal flaw because, and I've had this happen, I've made this mistake, or six months later, find out that that person who swore off, I would never touch network marketing in my entire life, they're doing network marketing. And I waited too long. So, you know, you want to make sure that with people that say no to you or it's the wrong time right now, that, you know, you don't, even, even people that say, I would never touch a network marketing deal, ever. You know, six months later, that might be a different story. So maintaining contact over time and keeping those people in your calendar over time is super critical. Uh, like, look, I mean, just here's another fatal flaw: missing appointments. You schedule an appointment and you miss an appointment. Like, like I rarely miss appointments. I did miss appointment about three weeks ago with my chiropractor. Finally, like, like it was in my calendar. I got tied up and I was, I, I got myself too focused on a project. And then by the time I looked up, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be at the chiropractor. That's like one in, you know, I don't know, a couple thousand appointments for me. We're, we're all, you know, uh, we can all make mistakes, but if we're doing that all the time, you're constantly missing appointments. The reason I typically never miss appointments is because every po- appointment is in my calendar. Everything is in my calendar and I operate on my calendar all day long. And if you operate in your calendar all day long, you're typically not gonna make that fatal mistake or that fatal flaw. Sometimes as well, and this will be the fast one or the last one that I'll say, is sometimes people are just too pushy. They're just too, too much. And so we have to have this balance of being serious and professional and pursuing somebody. But it's like, if, if the only thing that you can ever talk about is like, oh, you're following, oh, are you, do you want to take a look again? Do you want to take a look? <laughs> you're like a little eager puppy. <laughs> are you, are you, and all, the only thing you can ever talk about ever is your business. And there are people that get like that, by the way. And it's like that becomes a turnoff and those people don't even want to hang with you anymore because the only thing that you can ever talk about is your business and your business. Are you ready yet? Are you ready to join? And I I understand excitement and eagerness and all of that, but sometimes you got to tone it down just enough, right? And, And so we're not turning people off by being too much. So I don't want you to be pulled back so much that you're not not getting back to people. Professional people get back to people, first of all. They get back to people in a timely manner. They're prepared when they get back to them. But these are like these things that I mentioned, these are literally fatal flaws. Not getting back at all, waiting, you know, too long after they've looked at the information. Um, you know, if someone says no, not keeping that person in their calendar because let definitely things change, life changes for people. These are some th- simple things. I told you it was easy at the beginning of this, right? This is not hard. This is not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. It's very, very simple. And it's a matter of some just different decision making for you to get a much different and much better result when it comes to enrollments and signups in whatever direct selling or network marketing business it is that you're involved in. So that's it for the day, folks. I appreciate you. If you're on my YouTube channel, love you guys, appreciate you. Feel free to make comments there. If you're on my podcast, listening to me on audio, love you as well. And the rest of the details on this episode and all sorts of other things that'll help you succeed in network marketing are right here at toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 213. That's this episode, T-O-D-D-F-A-L-C-O-N-E.com forward slash episode 213. Have an amazing day and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,